Hi guys, in this video I will show you how to create a subgrid button use the uh, in Modular Web, use Power, Power Platform out of box feature and JavaScript and Power Automate. So before we get started, uh, let me show you more uh, details of my requirement. So you can see I have opened a teacher record. So in this record, in this main form, there are two subgrades. First one is register courses, and the second is available courses. So what I need is I need add a subgrade button here. Then if I select some uh, available courses, then click assign button. So all this available, all this selected uh, available courses will be assigned to the current teacher. That they will be shown here. So about assigned to teacher, so I can open records for reference. So you can see this is a course. So after you know assign operation is we just populate uh, the, the teacher's field with the uh, the previous uh, with this teacher. Okay, so let's get started. Now, firstly, let's go to the model driven app designer. So here, uh, as we know, we we just need a button for the courses subgrade, right? That means this subgrade is for course courses. The courses is based on product. So that means we need to add a we need to work on the product entity, right? Instead of the bookable resource. So product, okay, let's go to the product. So if we open the uh, the modeling app, uh, app designer, so we go to the left side, uh, go to the pages panel, then we just select the entity we are working on, it's product, right? We click here, then uh, go to the edit command bar. There are two options, edit and edit a new tab. I prefer a new tab. Then we just choose subgrade view. Okay, so now we need click here, click new. We just can click new command uh, button here. Uh, just wait. Okay, the button has been created. So we just rename the label to assign. Now I need an icon. For example, if I choose a person, this one looks better. Assign side to teacher right then action here there are two options the first is for run formula the second is run javascript if the um, requirement is simple or to be uh, let me uh, explain it uh, so i mean if you if if, if this one doesn't need the uh, the data from the main form here. So if this button, the action, doesn't need uh, the data from all this, uh, from the, 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 the field, this value from this main form. So we can just use the, uh, the formula, the power fx formula, because there's no, because we don't need uh, any uh, data from the current form, right? So that means there's no um, how to see. Um, there's it, it, it's it's not necessary to get the data from the main form, so we can just uh, finish the uh, the operation within this subgrade. Okay, then we can use uh, the uh, right formula, the power uh, power uh, power fx uh, to create this formula, but now. We need to get the, the the field. We need to get the uh, the current uh, main forms data. You know, we need to assign the teacher. You know, to the selected courses. So that means we need to get the teacher's uh, information from the main form. So the uh, uh, the formula doesn't work anymore. So we have to use the JavaScript. Okay. 
So JavaScript, uh, I can show you. Uh, actually, I have created the JavaScript already. Uh, can you let me find this one? Should be which one? Remember, it's uh, no, sorry. It should be new. Where is it? Okay, let me add the library. Should be new. I remember new product. Yeah, this one. Add it. And the function. Okay, let me uh, show show you the uh, JavaScript. This is the JavaScript I've created. This is the main function. Okay, so uh, okay before we go through the the code, let me finish this part. So. We have choose library, and uh, and okay, library finished. The function, for example, I give it function name the main function here. Then give the parameter. So we need two parameters. The first one is primary control. From this parameter, we can get the the uh, main form context details that means we can get the details of the, uh, the current teacher right and we need one more parameter it's for all selected uh, select control all item ids yeah should be this one let me see selected control no select this this is selecting control all item IDs. It will return all the items, no matter you you select or not. So we should see, we should use this one. Select control selected item IDs, not all items. We use we should use this one. Okay. Uh, then we'll just go back to the code. Okay. This is main fun main function. So as as we have set up, we have two inputs. First one primary control. Second one is select records IDs. So as I mentioned, the primary control uh, will bring the context details. So you can see we can uh, get the uh, the current book of resource ID. That means the, the teacher's record ID uh, from primary control, right? The geo ID. So this is a teacher's geo ID. Then we get the products selected. The selected courses, the product is courses, right? So the map function, the map, um, the function is used to create a new array. You know, this comes with array, right? Um, so the map function is create a new array just uh, by uh, execute this function. Yeah, this function is just re replace uh, this one and just remove this one. Uh, this bracket and uh, create a new array that is products ID array. Then we will pass this ID, the product ID, this array and the teacher's geo ID to Power Automate. Just use this function. This function is above. So if so, we will get uh, the response uh, later. Okay, maybe we can just go, go ahead. Is um, if after we trigger this function, uh, so we will get if we get the uh, succeed response. So it will we will just open alert a dialog, just a, a pop up window, and just let the user know. Okay, you have uh, updated the, the courses successfully, and. If you want to, to to know more details about this function, I have put a link uh, in the description of my video. Uh, you can check. And if if the uh, automate return error, uh, so there will be another uh, pop-up window. Yeah. So let's go to this function. So this function is used to send or pass the selected products. 
GUID and the parent teacher's GUID to the PowerMate. So I think you can just uh, reuse my code and just you can just uh, update the parameters. You know, just update update the parameters. You know, the parameters is what uh, will be passed to the power automate and this this is a field uh, th this is a parameter name this is a value you can you can uh, you can name uh, whatever name uh, you like uh, then it will return uh, this function this function is is post um, fun uh, post operation it just post to this Power Automate flow. You can see here the Power Automate flow URL is is um is empty. So later I will create a flow with you together. Uh, then we would, we will put then we will, we will uh paste the uh, the URL of that flow here later. So this operation is just post uh the uh, just send the parameter to the Power Automate. Yeah, that's it. Then return the response. To here right so finally you can see we have to refresh here so that means after uh, after the uh, power limit return the response we just do the final refresh the, in the refresh yeah you can you can see we, we are using the uh, uh, first we get the control of the subgrade so the subgrade here the subgrade name you have to uh, to, if you want to reuse this code, uh, change the name. This the name is the logic name of your of the two subgrid. Uh, yeah, just put their logical name here. Uh, then it will get their controls. Then do the refresh. So I will also put this uh, script uh, link in the description of this video, uh, just for reference. Okay, so now let's the next step. Uh, so the next step is we just create a new PowerMate. So maybe let's start from scratch. Uh, we just create a new automated cloud flow. Uh, here we, we can just skip it. Then in this uh, PowerMate flow, we need search HTTP. We use this one request. Uh, that means when we we uh, we end. Uh, HTTP request received. We will do the uh, operations, right? Uh, just we will do the record updates. So for now, I just uh, make it simple. Uh, I will do. I will not do any uh, operation or do, do not do any uh, updates. I just compose the data. I just get the, the data from uh, the request. I just want to show the data here. Then I will give um, the uh, JavaScript uh, response. So the response, we just input response. Response here, there's response here. Then the 200 is a success uh, re response. So that's it. We just click save. You know, this is just for, for, uh, for demo. No, later we will see uh, the data we received. Okay, so click it. You know, after we have saved this uh, flow, the URL will be created automatically. Then we just copy the URL, then go back to the JavaScript, then paste in this variable. Okay, then we just uh, update the uh, JavaScript, the, 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 the library. Uh, okay, go to the library. Let me save it and update this. Okay, this one. Save and publish. Okay, uh, it has been published. Then let's go back. Let's go back. I think that's enough. Yeah, that's enough. Let's go 
no, sorry, save and publish, sorry, save publish this button. Okay, uh, published and go back or we just click play. Okay, we go to the teacher. For example, we just open anyone, just maybe Alison courses. So here we just, oh, sorry. One more thing we need to do is we need to set up the visibility. Uh, I want to show this button only when there there is at least one record has been selected. So here visible we should be count rules. Then self uh, selected all items. Okay. Say publish. Okay, now let's go back to this Waldron app. Refresh. Let's see. Okay. Hmm, it should be here. Let's refresh again. Okay, it disappeared. That's great. So it should be only. Uh, it should be on, uh, show up only when at least one record selected. Okay, you can see we have selected one uh, record. It show up if we uh, deselect it. So gone. Okay, great. So for example, if I choose the two uh, courses and assign. Okay, it's it just uh, um, there's a pop up window. It's it show course so, uh, update so, so successfully. That means the uh, power, power automate has re uh, give the JavaScript a su succeed uh, response, a success re a successful re response. Click OK. Now we just go to uh, this flow. Let's look at this one. Okay, this is the history. Open it. So we can see this request. We just open compose. Or you can see the HTTP request. It should be seen. Uh, so you can see uh, in the input there are two parameters. First one, products ID, IDs, right? It's an array. All these values are GUIDs, uh, GUIDs, uh, products GUIDs, and teachers uh, GUIDs, GUID, right? GUID. Okay. Then uh, we can we can just keep uh, keep editing this flow. You know we have got the, the, the GUIDs of all this. Uh, records so it will be very easy to do the uh, the data update we can get uh, a rule using the diverse connector get the rule uh, based on the GUID then do do the uh, uh, the data uh, update yeah that's it it's very easy so I will not do that uh, here so just save your time so I think that's it um, so we I think we have finished uh, the button here, we have finished the button here. Oh, it, it doesn't show. Okay, maybe we need to refresh. <laughs> okay, it should be here. It's uh, it's old page. Sorry. Yeah, that's it. Uh, so uh, it, uh, if you have it, uh, hopefully, uh, hopefully this tip could be useful for you. Uh, if you have any questions, please, please let me know. Thank you for watching.